Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if you've been following along with this and how to make a diamond pattern and to make them equally spaced apart, this might be the best way to do it or the easiest for some of you and including me. Take a two point line and just make a straight line. Rotate that line to like 25 degrees, it doesn't matter. Well, I guess it does, but they need to be equal. Control D and make a duplicate and then rotate that line a negative 25 degrees and you get that shape. Then you just need to figure out how big you want your diamonds or whatever, but just take that one and control D and go up. Well, that didn't work. Let's see what our nudge factor is. Oh, I made it on 15. So let's just do it like one inch or let's do a half an inch, 0.5. Control D up and over. Control D, control, I keep hitting my laptop keyboard. So up and over with your arrow keys. Take this line, control D and over to the right and up. And then all you have to do is hit your arrow key. And if you did this enough, you'd have a pretty big pattern and or that you could make smaller anyway. So let's see how big this is now. And that's why my nudge factor was set so big a while ago. It's like 13 inches. Let's set our nudge factor on 15. Let's get these out of the way and let's take the smart fill tool and this is a little bit confusing to try to keep up which one you're doing, but take the smart fill tool and fill that one in and nudge it over. And then just uh, think about what you're doing and, and uh, try to stay on one line or the other. And I'm not going to probably do the whole thing because you'll get the idea. And all we're doing is making objects. So let's call that good enough. I already did that one. Then take these and left click, no fill, right click outline. Now, if we will group these together, go up to object and control G, go up to effects and contour, contour to the inside point one and let's see what happens. That's, let's go a little bit less. Let's go 0 0.05. That looks good. You know what? At this time, we could actually, well, let's don't do that. Let's just go ahead and stay with that. Go up to object and break contour apart. And then see if we can't just grab these lines and delete them. And there are your diamonds. Now we'll take this and group them together. If you don't group them together, the contour tool won't really work. And I didn't group them together, so control G. And let's do that same measurement. And there you have it. Now let's go to object, break contour apart. Maybe even go to object and, un and ungroup them. So we can change the line thickness. And we could have started off with that line thickness. And this would be a really neat diamond pattern and they're perfectly spaced apart. I mean, this distance and this distance and that distance and that distance is exactly the same. And you could go a little further and actually fill in the, the lines themselves if you wanted more fill. Anyway, pretty cool concept. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.